Good evening. There we go. Good evening, guys. Whoa. All right. Third time is the term. Good evening, guys. My name is Chris, and today is the 12th day of Vlogmas. And here we are. Um, I had two appointments today, and they both went really, really well. So it looks like it's going up the hill you guys and I'm just so happy about this. The last appointments I had were all amazingly good. They all went so well. Um, today I talked to my gynecologist about switching from the pill to the injection <clears throat> but in the end she told me that since I'm not like an active person like I'm not doing any sports, I'm not really able to um, move around a lot. Um, it would not be a good idea for me to switch to that injection because um, it can, um, it's not good for your bones. Basically, it, it can attack um, your bone structure. So it would not be a good idea for me to do that like long term. She said if I really wanted to try it, I could do that. Like to just give my stomach a rest for the next three months or tops a year. Um, but she said that my pill does not really do a lot against my stomach. She said like it, it's not like something that your stomach has to deal with a lot. Or, um, so I said, no, of course, if um, this is this injection, you know, um, attacks my bone structure, I will not do that. It's not like, that's not worth it at all. Um, so I said, no, I, I don't want to do that. I hear you. So that's a bad idea. What else can I do? And I said, tell, told her that. My main issue is like getting my period um, with fibromyalgia. It's just something that can or will definitely um, cause a flare up. So basically when I'm getting my period, I'm not feeling well a few days before, during and after. So that's pretty much like short, explain it as short as possible. I did do a video about this where I talked about it a little bit more and I will link that at the end of this video. So you can watch it if you want to know more about that. But yeah, so she said, injection, not the best idea. And I said, of course I hear you. Um, I don't want you to do that. So what else can I do? And she said, well, you can um, take your pill. Like, you can just constantly take it. You don't have to um, make a break so you won't get your period. And I was like, really? I didn't know that. And she was like, really? You don't have to um, stop it. Which I did. So I'm basically taking my pill for three weeks. Um, have a break of one week and after that again three weeks one week three weeks one week and so on and now um, we said that I will try to take it constantly so all the way through for the next two three months and we will see if that works for me or if um, we have to find another solution so Basically, that's it. And she really took the time. We talked about this and different um, options, like almost half an hour, and it was amazing. I really love her. She is probably the best gynecologist I ever had or I know of, which for me is incredible. I mean, okay, the gynecologist of my mom was amazing too, but yeah, he's out of practice more or less. Um, but yeah. That was that, and my second appointment was with the rheumatologist, um, the colleague of my new primary doctor, and yeah, we talked, he listened a lot, he asked questions, and 
in the end he was like we have to get you into a clinic for you know four weeks intensive care um trying you know like a uh, special clinic for patients um that suffer from fibromyalgia so we will try to do that i have an appointment next week with one of his colleagues in the same office um to do some paperwork um towards that so we will see how that goes and they took some blood from me and they are checking all their markers again they are checking my dna marker that they found the first time um i was at the rheumatologist and they checked for stuff so we will see what um you know what the results will be and I just, I don't know, I'm just hyped, I'm just so happy about people being interested and people wanting to help and people having new ideas and I'm just so willing, you guys, I really, really want to go to work again and maybe, yeah. it's, today was the first time in a long time that I had us little smidgen of a hope that maybe it's a possibility for me to work again sometime in the future and that is just something I didn't had for a long time now and yeah it's just amazing to feel that hope again um and now I'm tearing up because I'm just realizing that it's the hope was hope I was feeling when he talked to me and I couldn't really I didn't know what it was till now but now I do and yeah it's just it's amazing um yeah so that happened oh and I, sadly I forgot my camera I really wanted to take you guys with me today because we went to the Christmas market like my mom and me after my second appointment and it was really it was nice. They were there, but there were a lot of people because it was in the evening. And you know, the last time I was there, it was like in the afternoon, and I prefer the afternoon before the evening, definitely, because in the evening it's just packed. But it was still beautiful because all the lights were on, and I will um, put some footage of the Christmas market in right here and now because I loved it so much and I want to share with you So yeah, that was the Christmas market and we had fun, I would say, and yeah, this was a good day, so probably, probably this will keep on going, so we will see, so yeah, that's it for me for today, I hope you guys had a great day, Thursday and are strong for tomorrow friday so you can rock that day and yeah good night you guys thanks for watching remember to keep on fighting and we see you today, tomorrow good night oh by the way i forgot I'm watching Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire tonight, so let me show you. I did watch Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban yesterday, so now we're here at the fourth movie of 
Harry Potter. Yeah, so that's it for me for today. Bye.